Hey up YouTube, how you doing? It's Theme Park Basil here, squinting a little bit in the uh, sunshine sat outside today. It is Saturday, it is quite late in the day, we're already mid-afternoon. It's one of those days, you know, we said, got up this morning with good intentions, lots of work to do, let's get going early. It didn't work out that way. But it's Saturday, about 2pm now. I am sat outside in what is our new oasis, I will give you a quick view of this. We, uh, we put the patio furniture together this week and then Maxine managed to get a good deal on this rug that matches the cushions so as you saw last week we did the fan and um, we've said this is our Jeff watching area Jeff being the alligator in the lake and then we had some people come in and give us quotes for screening a little bit like across there because we're in two minds whether to screen this in because it does actually cut out and may cut out some of the view but the fact is that we're pretty sure that come the evenings in the summer by water in Florida you're gonna get a lot of bugs so. so at the end of the day, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. We've just got off a call with our Chloe. Had a FaceTime call with her for uh, just after lunchtime. That was great. I think we're catching up with Ryan this evening as well. This morning, um, we went out and had a walk around the neighbourhood and we'll show you some of that. Uh, I'll go inside in a minute and show what Maxine's up to and the tasks that we're doing here at the moment. And then I'll wrap up probably this vlog and show you how we're progressing with Jeff Camp. But one other thing as well, one of those light fittings, as I say, was loose and it's a pretty manky. So we're going to replace that, and if we're going to do that, we're going to do the other one as well. But let's go inside the house, maybe a little bit noisy, we'll see what Max is up to. Mrs. Theme Park Bazaar. Some of the progress of the other things are things we haven't quite moved ahead on yet. You'll see we still have um, a lot of the, the blinds have still got to go up. I haven't really even started with those. These are what I just showed you outside. So we got three of these uh, covers. We found the name on it, we pulled it down and ordered three of these from Amazon to replace the two outside. And the third one will take us way back to our first vlog if you remember when we were changing all the lights we had this wonderful one up here that is all pitted and rusty and the bulb wouldn't come out and you can see the grease on the roof that we still got to get rid of we've done all the other bulbs apart from that one so we thought if we're changing the other two we would also change that one out as well we are cracking through the sockets and switches and yes as of this week we have done all the switches all the light switches high five youtube are you ready Yep, they're all done. So if you remember before, actually just let me give you the before and the after. So this is what the switches and the sockets look like before. So what we're actually moving from are sockets all around the house that look like this, and switches all around the house that look like this, and this is what they look like now. So as you can see, um, we've gone for the different design as we said, replaced all those, and replace these and so everything i think we've got about 50 percent maybe 70 percent of the power sockets done all the light switches done and basically every one of these i found is just a pull through for a wire there's no connection so these are all going to be taped out and we're going to fill those and then paint them and like the ones up there and also the same ones in the ceiling in the living room i took the covers off those and there's just wires running through they just pulls for wires they're not actually there doing anything so they can be removed and filled and the ones on the wall across so we've got a lot of stuff going on, we've got the speckle, is what you call filler. We've got the speckle kit, with the spatulas, some wallboard, jointing compound, jointing tape. Again, we've got a pack from Amazon for that, that's going to help us put all that together. So all good stuff. So a little bit of a more serious topic here and theme park buzzer. When we were upstairs here at the house, you did see I had the fire extinguisher there in the, in the uh, upstairs. Uh, where we keep the towels in that laundry area and we did joke about you know it being um, for uh, Caroline if she came to visit us but realistically you should think about these things we do have fire extinguishers upstairs and downstairs we do have emergency torches in every bathroom come to our house you'll find them but you've really got to think around yourselves and your family and what could happen if there is a fire and we do that and as we're doing the house and we're doing the windows and looking out I'm always thinking about egression, getting out, what happens if there's a problem, what happens if there's, a, if there's a fire. And so, you know, making some purchases around that can be very important. And, and it actually um, came really close home to us maybe a week ago, because just around the corner, we, there was a house fire, and I'll insert a picture here. And as you can see, the fire brigade got there pretty quickly, but um, a lot of damage done. 
So you've got to think for yourselves and at home, if we're upstairs and we're in bed and it's the middle of the night and we've got young kids or whatever and there's a fire, what are our escape routes? How do we get out? What should we do? And the best way to think about it is if you open the windows in the house, how do you get down? What are you going to do? And one of the things with cleaning the windows here is there's nothing at this side of the house. We're all two stories up and there's only the roof at the front and I was out there cleaning and it was not a good roof to get down on. So one thing, I actually purchased this a couple of weeks ago before that house fire just so. But one of the things you might want to think about getting, and this is not sponsored in any way, is one of these things which are these um, egression ladders, I would call them. So this was $40 off Amazon. And what it basically does is we keep this in the same cupboard as the fire extinguisher. And what you get, and I'm just lining this up so you can see it, what you get basically are two of these uh, poles that hang on to the window ledge when you open the window and they pull tight as you throw the ladders out and keep it tight and then you get these set of aluminum ladders and the idea is you can open a window, you can put these on you pull that velcro on the front and they just cascade and pull down and the weight will actually lock it you can get two sizes, this was for a two story you can also get a three story and as I say I think this was about 40 bucks on Amazon and hopefully we never have to use it but it just stays upstairs in the cupboard here next to the fire extinguisher so if the worst case does come and there is a fire, we can try and use the extinguisher to get down. But if we have guests here, especially if you've got guests coming as we're planning and, and you've got family and young kids, these, I mean, hopefully never have to use them. But they're always a good thing to have. That would be my recommendation. So uh, just thought I'd update you on that. Something that we really don't talk about, but we always think about um, ourselves. And so everybody take care and we'll go back and resume normal programming right now. Well, we're having a bit of a break and we're out for a walk, get a bit of sunshine. Uh, that house I talked about that uh, caught fire is just over there. You can just see it down the street, it's quite close to where, quite close to where we live. We're going to go and do a, uh, just been chatting with the crazy neighbours again, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> out when we left the house, so that's sort of back a little bit of time, but they're great friends. Um, we're going to go have a bit of a walk, show you maybe some of the views. It's a bit windy today, so I brought the cannon because the GoPro doesn't work very well in the wind and there's a storm coming tomorrow so we'll show you some of the views around the neighbourhood as usual there are some very beautiful and very big houses around here a little bit outside our price range but um, lots of greenery, lots of lakes and there's never anybody about we don't really know what's going on I'm, I'm sure you've noticed it you see cars but you never see anybody outside these houses very much uh, typically American thing and there's lots of lakes of course Lots of lakes around the area. That's normally what we do is go and walk around some of these estates because we know there's always going to be a lake or two and of course plenty of palm trees because we're in Florida. So what we're approaching here is something called Reams Road which is the main road that runs down to Disney and if you head that way we're just going to cross here and try and get killed. If you head that way that heads towards Windermere which is the posh area where all the posh people live then we're kind of in between near Windermere, we're not quite at Windermere and if you head down that way that takes you right down into Disney and the further down that road you go the more expensive the houses get because you are the further down that road you go the more expensive the houses get because you are pretty much seeing the fireworks in your back garden so we're going to walk around here we live uh, close to Windermere but it's not Windermere is it Max? No, it used to be Windermere but they changed the zip code and people were not happy Yep, so um, we pretend to be posh, we drive around in Audis that are 89 years old and we pretend, pretend they're new ones. But my Audi, I'll have you know, Red 5 does have an iPod connector. So there you go, no Bluetooth, but it does have an iPod connector. And if you know what an iPod is, iPod is kids, ask your parents, older brothers and sisters, they'll probably remind you. So these lakes that are coming up are ones that we have walked around quite a few times. I'm gonna go around them today, but just sort of give you a quick view of them. couple of really big lakes here very spread out we like to go there's a second one further down we like to go and do a bigger loop from in the morning just uh, if we can early before work before the temperatures go up but we're gonna head down this way because we've not been down this way before and do a big loop round the uh, loop around the area again lots of uh, greenery you can always tell we're getting into the posher houses because we'll see them with these the, the uh, tile on the roof, it, tile on the roof is not very popular over here because it's very 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 expensive so most of what they call shingles like asphalt like ours but as you start getting into the more shall we say so what I should use posher areas 
you'll find a lot more of these, all the houses will be built with these tiles. Last a little bit, Spanish tiles, yeah, last a little bit longer, maybe five years longer, ten years longer than asphalt, but are uh, very, very expensive. Which is interesting when you think in England where slate was the normal. Here's another one over here, we've got all the, all the tile. Oh yes, some very nice uh, vehicles in this neighbourhood, just passed some nice Alfa Romeos. There's a nice red Corvette over there. A little bit of money in this area. Which of course is where we live, isn't it nice? This is our neighbourhood of course, please uh, believe that. Not. I'm loving the red. This car is for sale at the end, we might actually let you know how much it is, but I'm loving the red on this uh, Ford. They don't even make those anymore, the uh, Flex. I think the Ford Flex is obsolete, but... Here's a house on the end, for sale. I guess I think it's a three bedroom. We will, uh, in the vlog, let you know how much that is later on, give you some idea of the costs. And this big thing across the road here is actually a walking path that we're gonna go on. Everything's bigger in America. So this is the, do you know why this is so wide? No. So this is, uh, I guess it's for bikes as well. This is the, uh, it's not a road, <laughs> believe me, it's as big as the road, but this is the walking path that goes down by the lakes. So we're now approaching the other end of those lakes that I showed you earlier on, we've done a big loop around them. But this, uh, these are the other lakes that yes, have gators in and snakes, because they all do. But it's quite nice because it's quite wide here, lots of parking. And I'm pretty sure once the fireworks come back on again, you will be able to see the fireworks from here. Oh, and one thing we should add as well, uh, we've been hearing some noises, trying to work out what they were. I've heard them a couple of times now, and I'm pretty sure it's the uh, whistle from the ferry, not the ferry, the uh, paddle, boat. paddle boat that goes around in Magic Kingdom. Um, somebody, somebody said they thought it was the train, but that train's not running at the moment. So I've heard that twice from outside my house, so we are pretty close. When the wind's in the right direction, but when we hear the toot, it is actually, it was either that or it was the ferry coming off and bringing people from the uh, transportation centre, but I'm pretty sure it is the paddle steamer doing that, so that's pretty cool to hear that from the house. Somebody's got their own boat. Nice. Guess there's quite a few boaters in uh, this area. So many lakes and so many... Well, you're not far away, you're only an hour from Tampa. But I think that was the last trip we had out before Covid, really, it wasn't it, to Cocoa Beach. We went down there the weekend before everything closed down well over a year ago, so... We must do that again before it gets too crazy hot and too busy. Now spring break is coming to an end and the tourists are going. Little friend there, on top. And a couple of fountains. I mean, they just sort of, they all love the fountains when they get them here in Florida. They're still watching us down there. And on this side you have a good old American school. Big American school. It's the elementary school. It's the elementary school, it's very and where you see all, that, all those covers there, that's where the school buses come in and the kids get dropped off in the morning, there's a big loop, you walk past this school the other side kind of come in with a big loop and all those yellow buses come in There's a nice park here, play a bit of footy on because it's not like the UK Maybe you'll get that at the weekend a couple of people having a kick around Play a park over there, shaded area, we're going to head over to Publix which is over there get some stuff for dinner and the Starbucks where we went to last time is just over there so it's in a big loop and we live on the other side of this circle if you like across from there it's uh, gonna warm up today going to be around 90 already feeling the heat aren't we Max it feels a little bit uh, warm and Maxine wants some crusty bread to go with our homemade soup from our crazy Scottish neighbours who were very kind to give us some more Make a soup. Like we can make it. Yeah, so we're going to go and get some crusty bread from Publix because they've got one of the better bakeries. Go back up to the road and get across. And here we are at Publix. What you going to have? Some crusty bread. Love the smell of the bread. Crusty bread. down there.
If only you could smell the bread. Yep. Yeah. Quick check out of our. Do you need any more biscuits? I got one with that. Got another or not? I think you've got two more. Some plain. Plain. We don't soup, custard, beans, mm -hmm. chocolate. Yeah. No arrows here, so you're out of arrows. Fruit pass we're out of uh, licorice all sorts if you want some more. Trying to, trying to cut down. Trying to cut down. Only three or nine. And I did get myself a parfait yogurt. Because they look really good. So I did get myself one of those as a treat treat and we got some fried chicken for tea. Because we have some salad to use up so we thought fried chicken's gonna be salad, isn't it Max? Still looking a bit red. So we are back. Time to put away our Publix haul and then have some of that homemade chicken soup. There we go, look at that. Some warm crusty bread and some real homemade chicken soup. Look at the chicken in that. It's good, doesn't it, Max? Oh, yeah. Gonna have a bit of dinner and we're gonna watch some vlogs before we do a bit of uh, talking with the family. So let's give you an update on Jeff Cam. So everybody who's very interested in Jeff Cam and putting something together, so I ordered something off Amazon called, well, let's think about it first. If you're thinking about doing something like that 24 hour streaming, which I've never done before, a couple of things are very apparent is I will need a camera that's outside the house because thinking about putting one on the inside through the window, you're gonna get reflections, the sun coming in isn't gonna work. And then the other thing is it has to be waterproof if it's gonna be outside the house. And the third thing is, well, third and fourth things are wiring. So wiring for the internet, you really want something that's wireless. Uh, IP cameras are the ones to get. And then the other side of it is power to it. Wouldn't be good if we could put it up there and maybe not have to wire, do any wiring to it. So what I actually got was this intelligent solar camera from Amazon. So it's a bit of a beast, but this is what I'm looking at doing tomorrow, uh, putting up. So this is the camera itself. And what it does, it mounts onto the wall. You have two aerials here, which are the wireless aerials for connecting to the home router. And then this thing is the camera that is waterproof and also, excuse me, which is waterproof and also rotates and you can do that from your mobile phone because um, it's going to have to be pretty high up to get a Jeff Cam view. It also pitches down as well and you want to set it up so it's not looking into the neighbor's yards and it's not looking at across, at the neighbor's across, it's really down at the lake. And the reason this was very appealing as well is it comes with a solar panel that sits on the top you can angle so the idea is there's no electricity has to go to it there is no um, cabling for the internet using the wireless to go to it these say uh, these aerials come up pop both pop up one's uh, facing the wrong way let's get to go that way they both pop up and so really you're looking at four screws to mount it on the wall which you'll have to drill get up a ladder and drill those so that's what i'm thinking at at the moment this should have been over a hundred dollars on amazon i got a deal it was like 50. To try it's a bit of a beast but i couldn't think of anything else that was going to fulfill the needs then take the signal from here to a laptop upstairs get some software on the laptop connect that to youtube and that should be able to stream it to youtube as a live feed 24 7. now at the moment doing all the power and all the sockets the, the power is going on and off two or three times a day upstairs and of course that means that um you would lose the live feed and have to start a new one again so at the moment, I think, just bear with me, I think we're going to leave this for a few weeks and then maybe set it up but not actually connect it for a few weeks because I want to make sure the internet's going to be up all the time, the laptop's going to be up all the time so we don't make and break the signal. Maybe I'll just reboot it once a month. But there we are. You wanted it, so I'm going to work on it. Give me a few more weeks to do the other tasks in the house and then we'll see how Jeff Cam goes. What? So, it's a little bit later in the day. How's it going, Max? A little bit sure. Looking a lot better already. Going away with the blue and in with the grey. The last bits of blue to disappear. Looking good, Max? Right, a bit. Yeah. And just get on with it and stop messing around. You missed a bit, by the way. Because I've not finished yet. Alright. Oh, nope, good job, Max. Good job. So that was it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, what you were seeing today. 
been busy, haven't we, Max? Yeah, we've been busy. Max is very happy with her rug. Yeah. It's a good deal, that she won't show on the colour, will you? Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. And again, we're still, I think we're going to go ahead with the screening out here. I'll put the screening up because I think the bugs will be yeah. too bad in Although it will mess up the view a little bit. So as we wrap the day here, thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate each and every one of you and all the time you spend watching our vlogs. Yeah, comment below. We do try and respond to all comments. Please like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Thank you all again for watching and we will see you later.